Welcome to Glass of Bubbly. What do you think about champagne and toast for breakfast? Yes. Oh, quite a few different ones. <laughs> Some would you... say no. <laughs> I want you to get straight in with this one. Okay, yeah, you go ahead. Go ahead. Well, uh, champagne for breakfast, yeah, or lunch or dinner, or even if you get up in the middle of the night, I don't see why not. Um, I haven't got a glass, I'm concerned, so I'm going to pour some. If you wish. What but there's you... a lot of different varieties you can have on toast. You can do what we've got here chocolate, marmalade, plain, butter. Peanut yeah. butter, jam, honey, avocado, and uh, love or hate, marmite. Marmite. There we go. So we're going to give that a, a go. But firstly, we're going to give this a go, which is the champagne, which is a gold medal. This is from Constant Le Maire, Roger Constant Le Maire, the Tournon family, and this is their Cuvée Trianon, their Brut. Now I believe it's five years. It's four years. So this goes through a four-year kind of resting period in the cellars, and it's non-malolactic fermentation methods. And for the grape kind of um, element of things, we have got Chardonnay at 40% and Pinot Noir coming in at 60 with this one here. And they're based out on the kind of west side of Vecna in the Marne Valley. So let's give this one a go. Oh, isn't it glorious? The, the colour is, is a lovely warm golden colour to the wine. But the, the aromas are really what you're looking for with the champagne. Citrus, there's Yellowstone fruits, there's rich flavours of Yellowstone fruits, floral notes. Touch that yeasty pastry. Yeasty nice. pastry, even a red berry, there's an element of red berries in there as well. We put a touch more in there to get the bubbles going and give it a go. Mm, fine bubbles, in the palate fine bubbles. Really strong personality as well. Yeah. Citrus, Yellowstone fruits, more or less a replica of the nose. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, so, and then we've got the yeasty notes and the red berries. Solid performance there. So, and what's what we're going to try here? So, we want to see how they pair with different kind of uh, something on toast for breakfast. Mm -hmm. So, um, I'm, let's, let's go for the plain. Should we go for the plain? Yeah. Yeah, and just cut a piece off, or have you already cut them ready for that? I suppose uh, I cut them in half ready for that. Yeah, okay, let's just give it a play and a go. Hmm. Champagne's a winner, cuts through everything. Tiny, tiny bit of savouriness, or a little bit of the butter coming through, but it's champagne. It literally douses the, uh, the the toast altogether. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'd say all it does is really adds, it gives a little more of a yeasty character to the champagne. Let's go for the next one. What we're going to try now, let's just try, what's this one in? Is this the this is homemade jam? Homemade jam, yes. Homemade jam, here we go. Homemade jam. Mm. Mm. It, the jam is sweet, but it times it by, times it by ten. Yeah, it's pear jam, it's homemade pear jam, mm. but yeah, it does it enhances that sweetness. I thought it might be a bit of a clash here, but the the drier, the the strong character of the champagne and the sweetness go in balance out in in harmony. But you get best of both worlds in that one. Quite a yeah. nice pairing. Let's go for this marmalade here. Yeah, what we marmalade. Um, it's orange um, orange marmalade with Colonsay Gin from Wild Time Spirit. Mm. So it's gin with marmalade. Mm. Citrus style. Mm -hmm. You get the shards of kind of that orange peel coming through. It's very citrus, very refreshing in the palate. This cleans the palate, the champagne. Yeah, it definitely brings out those that's zesty orange peel characters and it's a stronger level of alcohol because we tasted gin yep. in the marmalade. Do you know, marmalade on toast with a touch of gin, sounds good. On to the next, let's try the honey. honey. Yeah, let's try the honey. There we go. Honey on toast. Again, it's very sweet that honey. My goodness me, is it sweet? And the champagne just comes in. It's kind of lost behind the honey. The honey's the stronger, stronger one here. 
And you get a little bit of relief of palate cleanse, but the honey flavours just really persist. Yeah, I, I felt that was a bit of a clash for me personally. Yeah. But yeah, the honey stood out more than the champagne. Peanut butter. Peanut butter on toast. Mm. That is different. Peanut butter is a stronger partner here. It's really eclipsing the champagne. I don't have much character to the champagne in the palette at all. For me, the peanut butter sort of gets a toasty and oakier character mm. to it. And it's deeper. Enhances that maybe the peanut character, but the champagne doesn't really make any kind of effect on it. Well, I can't really taste it, no. No, I can't taste it. Right, next one. I'm thinking what next. Let's go for the Marmite. Not everybody's favourite cup of tea. Mm. That's odd. A bit dry. It's obviously the yeasty Marmite and the yeasty kind of champagne. But they, they, they give me like a, a saline, kind of dry, not a particularly pleasant taste sensation. No, it, it does similar with the jam to me. It enhances the Marmite by 10. Mm. It makes it a lot stronger and a lot harder to enjoy for me. Okay, let's go for the avocado. Let's just going to give this a little cut here. This could be a messy one. The avocado. cleanses the palate and then at the end you get the avocado coming back. I get apple skin at the end. It yeah. cleanses the palate for sure. I'm getting apple yeah. skin. You get that? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Green apple skin. Stronger than the avocado. Stronger than the avocado. And let's go for the final bit, which is chocolate on toast, chocolate spread. Chocolate and champagne, that did not cause a discussion in the wine industry. Yay or nay? Mm. Okay, champagne comes in a little bit, chocolate, citrusy kind of chocolate thereafter. Mm. Well, it's okay, it's not, nothing to write home about. Yeah, it's hard to say much more. <laughs> <laughs> say much more. Well, for me, taste experience wise, I'll go for the avocado. I love that palate cleansing part of the, of the taste experience, but that green apple skin at the close. I'd probably go with the jam. The jam, yeah, yeah, if not the marmalade. Well, there we go. So that is champagne with something on toast, should we say? Is that what we're going to call it? Something on something. toast. So champagne there from Roger Constant Le Maire and the different toast, which I went with the avocado and you went with the jam. So there we go. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Enjoy the fizz.